So you probably clicked on this video because you want to know how to do TikTok transitions. You see everybody on the TikTok wondering how in the world do I do these transitions? How are they doing this stuff? It looks too cool. Well, today in this video, I'm going to show you how I do my TikTok transitions. <music> What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Trey Bryant and I'm back to bring you another, I guess you could call this a lifestyle video. I have a lot of friends that always ask me, bro, how are you on TikTok? How do you do these cool transitions? And I thought today I would just take the time to be able to show you guys how exactly I make my TikTok transitions. TikTok is becoming one of the most popular apps right now. If you're not on it, you need to be on it. I love TikTok personally. If you guys don't follow me on there, check out. I'll have my link in the description. I'm always making different cool videos on there. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm always putting my TikToks on my reels on Instagram to be able to just show you guys different outfit videos. And if you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you are. I'm always posting different men's fashion content. So if you ever need anything like as far as men's fashion outfit ideas, or you're looking for just some inspiration for what to wear, I got you, okay? Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and go ahead and join the community. We're posting so much dope content each and every day. We're talking about men's fashion, we're talking about beards, we're talking about lifestyle, okay? I got you guys. One of the most important things that it comes to about TikTok transitions is knowing what kind of movement you're gonna make. Specifically in this video, I saw that on TikTok, a lot of people were doing movements with their phone where they were swiping the camera into another position. When I saw that, I was like, okay, cool, I can do that. The cool thing about TikTok is they actually show you all the transitions and how to do them on the app. You just have to follow the right people when you see it. So when I saw this, I told my sister when we were shooting outside how to actually move the phone. And when they were shooting with the phone, they were shooting it like this and just moving it just like that. Swiping the phone quickly like this creates the movement of you swiping to the next screen. So it makes for an easier transition when you're making videos. So by this point, I'm assuming that you've shot all of your content with the quick flip method that we just talked about. Now that you're loading all of your clips into TikTok, you want to make sure that you upload the right clips that go along to create the entire whole vision that you have for your TikTok video. Also a pro tip I want to tell you, you probably see all of these different videos in my phone of small clips. It is important to shoot multiple small clips to make it easier on you when you have to edit them together. Now that I have all of my stuff loaded into my queue, ready to go, that's when I'm going to start to be able to make sure those transitions are very smooth when I'm doing that. So the next step is actually editing the TikTok. This is the fun part. Well, it could be fun for some of us and a pain for others. But what you want to do is tap on each of the clips. Once you tap on the first clip, you want to edit it to the place that makes sense that goes smoothly with the rest of the video to the next part. So now you want to continue to do the same process for each of your clips to tie them all together. Once you do this a few times, you'll get the hang of it. It's all about putting things together to make them make sense and make sure the transition is smooth. Now, after you have everything edited the way you want, take a look at the video to see if you like it. At some point, you probably are gonna get bored looking at it because it's taking so long to see the different outfits. That's why it's so important to look at your own content through the viewer's lens. What you wanna do now is you wanna speed up the video, that way it can keep the viewer engaged. I typically like to put my video on times two because your movements are somewhat still normal, but they don't look too robotic. Okay, now it's time to upload your video that you've edited right into the TikTok main screen. Now let's see what the finishing product looks like. So the video looks good, but there's something that's just missing. Now we need to add music. FYI, if you didn't know, music is a really big deal on TikTok. It's always important to use trending music or trending sounds. That way your video has a better chance of going viral. Sometimes it can be a headache to find out what songs are trending. So I always either save some in my favorites or go to the TikTok recommended page to see what songs are popular. 
In my case today, I already saved a few, so I think I'm gonna try this one. It's me and my friends. Walk in, walk out, let's go. Hey, walk it out, walk it out. Cha cha, cha cha. One of the biggest things that I use as a great mechanism is TalkBoard. TalkBoard is able to give me all the top latest trending sounds that are on the app right now. So I usually just go right over to there. And then when I look through to see what songs fit my video the best, I'll try to move the little meter over that you see that I was doing on the video. I'll move that over to kind of where it matches the movements of the beat as much as possible. And there you have it. You have your clean transitional TikTok. I hope this video showed you guys how to make clean transitions and to feel more confident in getting on TikTok. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to go more into depth and in talking about how hashtags and how I go about actually posting a whole TikTok. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family. Hit that like because it helps me in the algorithm and I'll see you in the next video.